Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. They thought they was going to stop you, boy, but we're going to keep it rocking like a cut-off stocking in a penitentiary trying to get wage. You understand me? We're going to talk about Tank versus Leo Santa Cruz, October 31st. Pay-per-view is going down. Now, I got to go in. I got to uh, change a few things that I was saying about this fight. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why I'm saying that, you know, I'm a man. I can back up, you know, things that I say, you know, man can say they're wrong about certain things. And I'm explaining why. Now, Tank, 23-0, 22 KOs. Leo Santa Cruz, 37-1, 19 KOs. Experience go to Leo Santa Cruz. Now, this fight going to be for the two WBA titles at lightweight and one at super featherweight. I mean, I guess super featherweight, but it's going to be two WBA titles. Now, to talk about this fight, man, you know, when I first was talking about this fight, I was saying that Tank deserves no credit, you know, that uh, he's going down to 130 fighting Leo Santa Cruz and this, that, and the other. Now, I want to explain the reason why I'm backtracking on that and saying that I was wrong with that. The reason that I'm saying that is because when Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather was explaining about the belts, too many belts, he basically said something that made sense. He said Canelo Alvarez basically called him out. Canelo Alvarez went down in weight to face the best. So therefore, when I heard that, I had to come back and to the draw board and I had to come back and tell y'all, basically he does deserve credit for this because Leo Santa Cruz literally called out Tank. So Leo Santa Cruz is on the road trying to be great. You see what I'm saying? So I have to give Tank his credit for going out there and making this fight and fighting Leo Santa Cruz because Leo called him out and Leo is on a grind to get great. Canelo did the same thing, catch weight with Floyd Mayweather. You see what I'm saying? Even though they tried to take that win away from Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather didn't call out Canelo. So how can you uh, get mad at him? Canelo called him out of the catch weight. You see what I'm saying? Leo Santa Cruz called Tank out, moving up. So this is this is a legitimate fight for Tank, and I got to take that back. I was wrong about that. After I thought about it, I said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The best, if you want to be the best, you will go up and go down and wait. Roy Jones did it. He went up to heavyweight, came back down to light heavyweight, trying to beat a record, which I don't think he achieved, but he tried to do it. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted to be great. So <clears throat> one thing about this, Tank said that he has been in training – for 14 weeks. Now, this is a question I just want to ask people. Do you think Tank has overtrained? Because I have heard, I've heard boxers say this. Now, I used to always think overtrained. I was like, how the hell do you overtrain? But once I heard boxers say this, I knew that this is something that's real. Now, if he's been training for 14 weeks, has he overtrained? I would probably think so, but not taking nothing away from him. I'm just saying, 14 weeks, you know, that they don't usually train that long. Now, um, I already said the Mayweather for Also, oh, this is Tank's Floyd Mayweather versus Arturo Gotti fight. If you were, if people can go back and you remember, Floyd Mayweather became a pay-per-view superstar. Actually, when he first really got on pay-per-view was the way he demolished Arturo Gotti, respected Arturo Gotti, the way he beat Arturo Gotti. This is Tank's Arturo Gotti fight. That's why Floyd is in the corner. Floyd is in his corner to make sure that Tank goes out there and shows the public that he is the next Floyd Mayweather by a spectacular victory. That's why Floyd is there. And I know everybody should have caught on to that, but I know a lot of people ain't really, they just think that, oh, he just want to be in the camera and the limelight. No, Floyd is really there because his investment needs to bloom. Tank needs to go out there and become that star because people have to understand. You can say Floyd this about Tank. You say Floyd that about Tank. At the end of the day, Floyd Mayweather is a businessman. And his business is Tank. If he pushes Tank up to a super mega pay-per-view star, he gets paid. It's a business. People have to understand. Now, I'm not saying he don't care about Tank. That's not what I'm saying. But people get it mixed up with business and friendship and all that. Business is business. Floyd is pushing Tank up. He's maneuvering Tank career. He's fighting only big names. 
He's fighting names that can make him a star. And he's Floyd is maneuvering him the right way. Gamboa was a set was a was a test fight for uh, for to see if what could Tank do at 135. That's why Tank now is saying, see, that's why I got a backtrack, because now I'm listening and learning. That's why Tank is saying, I'm gonna be at 130. You know, I'm gonna go from 132 to 135 because Gamboa was his test fight. Floyd then wanted to see what he would do at 130, and it didn't look too good. It didn't look too good. It did not. It didn't look too good. But he went out there and he still knocked him out. He did a job. But Floyd, being a small businessman, manager that he is, and being in boxing. Now, you know what? I'm going to give him another name. Leo, we're going to move him to 130 because Leo called him out. That's a great fight. Small move by Floyd Mayweather. I was saying that this was a fight to blind the casuals. You know, to dodge the... The David Haney's and the Teofimo Lopez. And I still stand on that. That probably could be. You know, because you could skip over, you know, um, Tio, I mean, um, Leo Santa Cruz, and you go fight Devin Haney, Fortuna, any one of them got Ryan Garcia, you can skip past them. You know what I'm saying? So I still stand on that. You know, um, when it comes to Leo Santa Cruz and his fight, people must understand this. Leo is going to come out there and throw his heart into that fight. He, he he has his he has uh I'm trying to think of something for a superhero that gives them energy. Y'all help me out, but I ain't no lie. You know what's something that gives them a, a, a super? And I'm gonna go with Batman. Batman when he get close to death, he fight his hardest. That's what Leo Santa Cruz gonna do because he has his father in his corner, and he told his father told him, "I believe you can beat him." Now I'm not saying that Leo Santa Cruz gonna win this fight, but I'm not. I, People shouldn't be expecting this to be a blowout. I'm telling y'all, this is not going to be no blowout. And if it is a blowout, that was masterful work by Tank, and I give him full credit. But Leo is coming. He's going to have his father there. His father said he could beat him. He's going to go out there, and he's going to give his all in that ring, man. I'm telling y'all. So this is going to be a blockbuster fight. This is going to be an amazing fight. People going to watch this fight three, four, five times after it's over just to see the punching and the and what we've been missing a lot, the warrior side of boxing. We got a Mexican. Shout out to my Mexican brothers and sisters. Y'all bring the pain, you understand? And Tank, you know what I'm saying? The black mama, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> come out there, going to swamp it, you know? He's going to come out there and do his thing. So when these two Mexican and black fighters clash together, baby, y'all know what time it is. It's OV. It's going to be a great fight at the end of the day. So I come back and I got to, you know, be a man and say, I was slacking on my poly, uh, my knowledge in boxing. And I come back as a man to let y'all know that, hey, this is a good fight. Tank didn't call out Leo Santa Cruz. Leo called out Tank. So at the end of the day, he does deserve credit. This is his Arturo Gotti fight. This is going to make Tank a pay-per-view star. Floyd is in his corner because Floyd needs him to win this fight. This is his this is his um, pay-per-view Status fight. See, from now on, Tank gonna be on pay per view. If he go out there and he annihilates uh, Leo Santa Cruz, he on pay per view from now on. And Floyd know that. That's why Floyd's sitting there training. And poor Calvin. Calvin finna get pushed out the way. I'm telling y'all, Floyd finna be. And Calvin, a good dude, no disrespect to Calvin, but Calvin, get you some old fighters because Floyd finna push you out the way because Floyd know that Tank need. A, a boxer like himself in his corner. He needs somebody who's been there and did it all. And Floyd going to take that. And at the end of the day, Calvin ain't going to get no re no credit for real for training Tank. And they're going to push him out the way. Well, I don't think Tank will push him out the way because that's like his father. But they're going to try to get him out the way. You see what I'm saying? Because they're they going to feel like they don't need him. they they making it seem like they don't need him now. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Respect the Calvin, respect everybody, Tank, Mayweather, all y'all. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. The season work boxer, man, thank y'all for y'all time. The grind is still on. Just because I'm off live don't mean nothing. They trying to stop your boy. I'm going to keep them coming. Hot videos, hot knowledge about boxing. No bias talk, no racism. Stay tuned. Hit your notification bell. Comment. Let me know what time it is. It's easy work boxing. We out, baby.